Hey, what's up you guys? Happy Friday. It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 14 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday. Where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now today's episode comes from a bunch of you subscribers and viewers asking me to make a tutorial on how to make really nice sexy 3D text in Cinema 4D. So guys, without further ado, let's hop right on into Cinema 4D and let's get started. So here in Cinema 4D is what we want to do is start off by going to MoGraph and to Mo Text. And to do this, we have to do two things right off the bat. We want to go to Object, set the depth to about 60, and then the alignment to the middle. And that's just going to make it easier for future preferences. And once we uh, have that done, we want to select a font that's kind of bulky, it's kind of big, it's going to look really good 3D. So I would definitely recommend either Boris Black Blocks, which can be found right here, or the Cafe Neuro MS4. Now both of those links are in the description below, so definitely go check them out if you want those. I would um, recommend if you guys have it, the Typograph Pro Extra Bold version, which is really nice and it just looks awesome uh, 3D, so I would definitely recommend that. So that's what I'm going to be using, so just hit OK once you have your text file selected. And then what we want to do is just select the text to whatever we want. So I'm just going to call mine tutorial. And then what we want to do is just come over here to the horizontal spacing and just type in about negative 10. That's just going to make our text kind of squinch together a little bit more um, than it is uh, without that negative 10 centimeters. So after that, what we want to do is on the mode text, hit caps and then hit the start and end to fillet cap. And it's what that's going to do is it's going to kind of add a nice little curve. As we see, it's kind of indented. And then bump up the steps to about 20. Um, and that's just going to make it a really nice reflection once we add some materials onto those. So after we have that, what we want to do is say Control C and Control V on the Motex file. That's going to just duplicate the layer. And then keep your guys' um, steps at 20. But select the radius to about 4 on the duplicated version and then on the original version bump the radius up to about eight centimeters so the original version should be at 20 steps and eight centimeters for both of them and then the copy should be 20 steps still but four centimeters uh, with the radius and then what we want to do is on the duplicate of the first copy we want to just pull it out by just going like that and now we have some really nice text that is 3D, and then it's also kind of popping out more 3D text out of the back of them. So it looks really nice like this, and I just love the way that this looks. So now that we have this done, what we want to do is just add some materials. Now materials are really easy to make and find on the internet, but also Cinema 4D comes with some awesome uh, just default materials. So as how to get those is go to File, Load Material Preset, Broadcast, Resources, materials glossy and then all of those can be found right here there is a lot of them uh, there's so many of them so I would definitely look uh, around in here before you guys just try going to make your own and stuff because these are some of the most best glossy materials I've ever found uh, even just you know looking even on the internet so I definitely recommend these uh, I'm going to be using blue and white today so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take the blue and select it on my Motex 1 and then I'm also going to take my white color and select on the Motex one as well. Now, while we are selected on that white color, we're going to come down here into selection. I'm going to type in R1. And what that's going to do is basically select that white color just to our cap around that. Now, that is going to look really nice after we have that all rendered out in a Lightroom. And then what we want to do is just take the blue color as well and select it on the original Motex. So now we should have some really nice looking text just like this uh, with a white rim around the uh, duplicate of the tutorial. So now what we want to do is import it into a Lightroom. Now I understand that a lot of people don't know how to make Lightrooms, they don't know how to make soft boxes and stuff like that. If you guys don't know how to make those, don't worry. Go on the internet, go on YouTube and just type in Cinema 4D Lightrooms. You guys will find a bunch of them found on YouTube. I swear there's a bunch of them on there and uh, there actually is some really nice ones. Now, I just know how to make my own, so I just made my own real quick. So if you guys know how to make yours, just definitely just use that. Um, but yeah, uh, my Lightrooms will be included in a GFX pack once I hit 500 to 1,000 subs. I don't know which one I'm going to be releasing in that. All I know is it's going to be a huge GFX pack. So if you guys want that to come faster, definitely tell your subscribers, friends, family, anything. Um, definitely just subscribe to Posh Designs and uh, you know I'll be giving that away for you guys. But enough about that. Let's hop on into my Lightroom. So I'm going to go to File, Open. And it's just called Simple and Fast Sexy Text. And I'm just going to open that. I'm just going to hit OK. 
and after that we just want to delete this and you guys don't have to do any of the stuff I'm doing right now because obviously you guys probably won't have this problem um, in yours I just have mine set to a default uh, so I'm going to move my this to right about there just zoom it out a little bit alrighty um, so you guys don't have to do any of that remember that and then uh, I'm going to control V that into there uh, also, what you guys uh, might have forgotten to do is you guys are going to have to just do this step. Uh, take your guys' Motex and Motex 1, control C it, and then open up your guys' Lightroom. Now that is just going to be able to import it in there faster and stuff like that. So open that up, and then we will get rid of this. And I'm going to control V that into there. So now our text is in our Lightroom right here. And I'm going to set my camera back at zero point. On my rotation, I'm going to take it and move it in right about there. Alrighty, guys. So now that we have our text right in here, what we can do is actually I like to slide my text back just a little bit. I don't know why I do it. I just like to slide it back just a tad bit, um, just for uh, just usual sakes. And then what we want to do is we can just render it out. And that's a really beautiful thing about Lightrooms is that the lights are already there. You don't have to do anything. You guys can just do it. And it usually turns out to be really sexy. Uh, so what I would recommend is just open up your render settings real quick and just make sure you have everything selected. Uh, this is going to say to my desktop as test. Uh, it can just say tutorial text by Posh Designs real quick. And I'll just say save it as that. Uh, save it as a PNG format is what I would recommend. And then uh, obviously tick alpha channel. You guys have to click the alpha channel if you guys don't. It'll still save with the background. And then three things I do is open up the this effect tab right here. I already have it on uh, the render setting, so I can't really show you how to tick them. Um, but tick global illumination ambient occlusion and then object glow it's going to make everything look a lot better in the aftermath so definitely just click all those and then you can exit out of this and just render it on out so I'm just going to hit render and let's select OK and I'll just speed this process up a little bit guys alrighty guys so now that's done we have our text and it looks really good just here in the cinema 4d preview of it if we just want to exit out of this and get out of Cinema 4D, we can find our text wherever we saved it. I saved it to my desktop. It's right here. And then I'm going to import this actually into Photoshop real quick just to show you guys one really quick tip that really makes text look 10 times better. And that is just this one step that we're going to do. So I imported it into here. And I'm going to right click on my text, go to Blending Options, go over here to Gradient Overlay. And what we want to do is mess around with this gradient. Uh, I would select the second preset in the gradient editor preset already. Uh, it's the second one. It just has, uh, it should be like kind of a color at the top left and then nothing. It should be like kind of like a checkerboard toward the bottom. And what we want to do is move the top color on over and then take the white color and move that on over. So now we have our gray to the right and our white to the left. And then select this gray color and just select white. So your text should look somewhat like this right here uh, with the white at the top and then nothing at the bottom. And then while we're in our gradient overlay, go to blending mode and go to normal and then select overlay. And that is going to make your text, I swear, 10 times much more better looking. It looks awesome like this. And this just looks really, really nice. I definitely love this. And it just makes text look and pop out way much better. So guys, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. I hope this is what you guys wanted. If it did help you out, please don't be afraid to smack that like button. It helps me out so much, and it keeps these tutorials coming. If you guys do have any requests for future GFX Tip Fridays, definitely leave them in the comment sections below. I'll look over them, and I'll definitely do some more for you. Well, guys, until next time, my name's Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. He all I need is one song, one line All I need is one break to survive All I get is one chance, so come on Five more hours to come up with a song All I need is one Renome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Oh, words and tastemakers.
Jesus, make us no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the